So it's early, it's 3.25 in the morning. I'm getting ready to head out to the early morning sunrise hike. I got my flashlight and I'm ready to go. Supposed to pick me up 20 till 4 to be at the office by 4 and leave by 4. Head to the base. Let's see if they're here on time. So I have to walk down the street to the hotel because this is just a gate. They'll never find this place. Let's see. It's not that chilly. I mean, it's nice. I have my jacket though, my rain jacket, to warm me up. Oh, that's a bright bone. I think this is it, yeah. Porto Vejo. So I gotta wait here. No cars have come by here. I've been on here 20 minutes. Only one guy in a van, I mean on a scooter, but he asked me if I needed a ride. See. See. Buena vez, señor. Okay, so again, we just got off the bus. I guess we picked up another 12, 13 people and we're just walking. Really, there's not much to see during the hike because you only see where your flashlight is shined and all I can see is the back of the girl in front of me, her legs. So it is what it is and then we just continue on. Yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie. Coffee or hot chocolate. Perfecto. So I did it. I was proud of myself. I'm sure I was the oldest person there. Man, my knees were killing me. And even worse, on the ride, well, the walk back down, it was challenging. It was challenging. This was considered a medium level hike. I don't want to see serious. But what a view, and we're just waiting for the sun to come up now. But I'm proud of myself. Okay, we did it. I guess it's a group of maybe 20 of us on our bus anyway, but there's a bunch of other people here as well. I'm here with Sadie and Amy Hello. from London. What did you think of the hike? It's very beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> the hike was hard, but gorgeous view. Yeah, yeah. worth getting up at 4 a.m. Exactly. Well, really, it was the last, what, last 15 minutes that was a real struggle anyway. Yeah. For yeah. Me anyway. Yeah. 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 But they're on holiday for two weeks. They've been all around the lake. 
Antigua as well. So, and they hiked Pacaya, which you can see puffing on the other side. I don't, well, it just stopped. Yeah. But yeah, would you recommend doing this to anybody visiting? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I love Guatemala. Yeah. Top three things to do in Guatemala so far. So far. I think, um, yeah, do the volcano hike up. Pacaya. Definitely. Um, it's difficult, but yeah, worth it. Definitely Lake Atalan and all the different activities, yoga on the lake. Yeah. Oh, you did yoga? Yeah. In San Pedro? Yeah. Ah, okay. Um, what's Should we do surfing? In yeah, surfing El Paradon? Yeah, El Paradon. Oh, That'd be so our top three. Yeah. They actually went to the beach, to the black sand beach, El Paradon. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna skip that one this time because I'm here for another three days. But well, thanks for talking to us. Oh, thanks Bye. for, having thanks for making a trip. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Let's watch the sun. Again, when you travel, you gotta meet people. You got to talk to people. You never know who's sitting next to you. So we're just sitting around waiting for the sun to rise. But beautiful morning so far. Finally at 6.17. The sun up. Okay, one thing to note is that you're not the only group. So you see all these people here. This may be three or four different groups. And there may be 10 to 15 to 20 people per group. So be aware that you need to get back on the same bus and get dropped off where you got picked off, or picked up at. Actually, they dropped us off downtown. So they didn't take me back to my place. But I wanted to sit down and get a cup of coffee anyway, so it worked out. But just be aware. There's numerous groups, and you start talking to other people, and you forget which group is your own. So we're getting ready to head back down now. Yep. There's one group going. Here's the back side of the mountain. Then it's us. So I guess any minute now. It's chilly up here, too. This is when the fun begins. Going down. You have your hiking shoes on now. So you can see more. Okay, we made it off the beaten path back on the regular road. I'm spent. Back on the bus. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Airbnb, but that's, I was toying with getting off anyway and eating breakfast because I'm, um, it's only eight o'clock, but I'm hungry after that. So I'll make a change this morning. So this breakfast thing is not that bad, so <laughs> I won't be doing that. I'll be back at 10 o'clock in the morning, but got a good latte on the corner this is like the main strip main corner when you come off the lunch of the boats this is where you'll come up this club is popping on the weekend by the way and this whole strip down to sublime it's rocking okay so just like that i'm in a tuk tuk on my way back home after what i consider a grueling hike but enjoyable I'm glad I did it. I'm proud of myself. And I want to say it only costs like 125 quetzals, if that, 100, 125. Yeah, along those lines. I mean, if you pay 20 bucks, it's worth it.